Hello, this is Marjorie Searcy. I'm a vocal coach and the creator of the Middle Voice Method. And I'm going to talk to you today about how to eliminate strain. Every singer deals with strain at some point. Many singers carry tension in their jaw or their neck and, or they raise their chin up as they sing and try to reach the high notes. I'm going to give you some, uh, a simple example of how to eliminate some strain. We're going to use a low lyrics sound and uh, we're going to pull the jaw down. I'm going to show you some tips on how to do that. I'm going to start in the chest voice, moving up, getting close to uh, the point that's close to your break, close to where some folks might begin to strain as they're working on a song. I'm going to use the sound go. So I'm going to sing it with a kind of a dopey, low lyrics sound. You may never have done this before or heard of it before, and even if you've never heard of worrying about your lyrics when you sing, I still want you to try this and try the dopey sound because it's going to create a lot of freedom and eliminate some tension. So that's a great thing. So let's try singing go. It's going to sound like this. Go, 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 go. It may sound a little covered or dark. I'm really not going for a covered or dark sound, but, I'm, but especially if you're someone who deals with lots of tension and strain in the upper part of your chest voice, then I want you to really try to go for that dopey sound at first to really eliminate any tension that you might have because strain looks and sounds like strain and you really need to ruthlessly eliminate it from your singing. So here is an example again. I'm going to do it two times. I'm going to do the first time with a low larynx kind of sound. The second time I'm going to really show you kind of an exaggerated higher larynx moving up and you really hear the tension in my voice. Uh, so here it goes. Go, 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 go. Go, 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 go. Well, as I move out my, in, into a, a higher notes there, moving towards my break, that little uh, thinner, kind of pointier kind of sound that I just used can really cause a lot of problems and tension and not really sound so pretty. So we'll try it again. You'll hear these two. Go, 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 go. Go, 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 go. Go, 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 go. We'll try that one again. Go, 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 go. you there but you can hear how that larynx moving up can cause a lot of tension and create a really kind of ugly sound not to mention a lot of strain and um, a, some damage to your vocal cords if you sing that way all the time so try the low larynx sound I'm going to give you another example uh, to just so you can hear some other sounds in the low larynx this will be a mum <laughs> sound and really try to eliminate strain from your singing so that you'll be able to sing for all of your life with a lot of power and ease.